This is an update on the 3D printed airlift pump project I started about a year ago. And uh, just for refresher, uh, the bottom part of the pump is uh, 3D printed. It looks like a funnel to hold a marble. Uh, the marble acts as a check valve, and uh, this is effectively the bottom of the 3D printed uh, pump. This particular um, uh, device has both the bottom and sidewalls that are 3D printed. And then on top, uh, there is the air inlet um, uh, hose and then the water outlet hose. So air comes in, pressure builds up in the chamber and pushes water out the top. Uh, this works quite good and um, one of the uh, things that had happened over the design iterations is that I went from using a one inch PVC pipe as the side of the airlift pump to, uh, to, to designing a pump that would fit inside of a one inch pipe. And this was really good because uh, it really facilitates keeping the pump vertical. This pump works extremely well if it's vertical uh, and, doesn't, and doesn't tip one way or the other. The problem with this is that, and I, I did use this on uh, a number of experimental gardens this year. The problem with it is, as I discovered when I took things down, is that a number of them had developed cracks and the problem is the 3D printer uh, design that I did just wasn't wasn't strong enough. I could go back and and uh, another one with a crack in it. I could go back and uh, design uh, another uh, version of this thing with thicker walls and probably that wouldn't happen. I had gone through a number of uh, design ideas. One of them was to use a, uh, a half inch uh, PVC cap with a half inch pipe. And the problem with that is that it just, it just doesn't fit inside of a one inch PVC pipe. And the surface area on the top of this thing is pretty small uh, to, uh, to mount the two uh, devices for inlet and outlet. So I ruled it out and uh, I, did, I did build one and, and it works, but um, it's just, it just doesn't fit well inside the uh, the PVC pipe. So I went ahead and I made a bunch of, uh, of this version. Uh, this version here, I made, uh, I made a dozen of these and I used them in gardens all last summer and they work great. But uh, getting ready for next year, I decided that uh, uh, maybe I could try something different. And it turns out that if we, I didn't, I didn't realize this when I started all this, but I went down to Home Depot and sure enough they make a PVC pipe that's one and an eighth inch inner diameter. And if I take a three quarter inch PVC pipe, it fits inside this thing really well. And a three quarter inch cap, which is, which is here, uh, will fit inside. The problem is this three quarter inch cap gets uh, gets stuck right there like that. I mean, it's, it's just a little too big. But uh, you can sand that little ri uh, ridge off the cap, and sure enough, it fits. So this one, this one fits inside. So I did some experiments. Um, I put the 3D printed uh, funnel on the bottom of this uh, to, uh, to center the marble, and it works great. Um, and uh, I just said, well, let me try it without the 3D printed um, part in the bottom. Just put the marble in the bottom like that. So I did that and uh, have a piece here that's about two inches in length. And uh, that goes in there. And then the top piece is, uh, is shown here. This is the top piece with the air and notice that the sides of the thing are sanded. So that's what it looks like inside. And uh, just of note, I kept track of all this stuff. The hole in the bottom is uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch. So the hole in the bottom that's holding that marble is 5 sixteenths of an inch. The hole for the uh, uh, threaded hole for the 3 eighths inch uh, water pipe is again 5 sixteenths, but it's threaded. And then the smaller inlet for the air is a 5 32nds threaded hole. So uh, we put all this together and the pump looks like this and uh, there are no 3D printed parts 
and it works like a champ. Um, it, it pumps extremely well, and that's the pump that I'm going to use in, uh, in next year's gardens. Uh, you can make them in about uh, 15 minutes if you've got a good power sander and, uh, and drills, etc., and threading machines. You can, uh, you, can, you can do this pretty quickly. So uh, I will show what this pump looks like inside of a, um, about 13 inches of water in the gardens that I use, and it just w really works great. All right, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the output of the pump um, in, uh, in, like I said, about 13 inches of water. Uh, you can see that this pump, which is uh, described earlier uh, using a three-quarter inch PVC pipe inside a one and an eighth inch housing, uh, is really, really working well.